Welcome back to Mason Talks. So in the Cleveland Browns' continual search to find help at the wide receiver position, random names have and will continue to pop up in association with the Browns for the remainder of of this offseason. And that happened once again earlier this week when reports surfaced in social media that the Browns had expressed some level of interest at some point in this offseason in Houston Texans wide receiver Brandon Cooks. Now, today I want to talk about Cooks and answer the question of should the Browns try to trade for Brandon Cooks? Now, there is an easy answer and a complex answer. And the the easy answer that I think most Cleveland Browns fans will come to, and that is that yes, the Cleveland Browns should try their darndest to bring in Brandon Cooks. Because he really epitomizes exactly what the Cleveland Browns need at that position right now. And that is good, experienced, veteran players. When you look at the Cleveland Browns wide receiver room right now, they are made up mostly of Amari Cooper, which was a very good acquisition by Andrew Barry earlier this year. Donvan Peoples-Jones and Anthony Schwartz, who are both young, raw prospects who maybe could be of some assistance this season, but also could just be somewhere in the middle or even below average, and that's it. Those are your wide receivers, and that's not good enough, if we're going to be completely honest. For a Browns team that now has Deshaun Watson running the show and probably Jacoby Brissett at some point this season, a team that wants to win the Super Bowl, you need to have better wide receivers. And, you know, Amari Cooper's a really good start, but you got to have more than just Amari Cooper. And bringing in Brandon Cooks would fill in at least part of that gaping void that currently sits at the wide receiver position. Cooks, in his career, has been consistently good in a lot of varying circumstances. He's been in the league since 2014. He was drafted by the New Orleans Saints. Then he spent time with the Patriots. Then he spent time with the Rams. Now, he's currently on the Houston Texans. Four different teams in his career. He's currently 28 years old. Four different teams. But he's been good for every team. He always puts up pretty good receiving touchdown numbers, and he has six seasons in which he had 1,000 or more receiving yards. So consistently, Brandon Cooks is a reliable threat. He is a reliable wide receiver. You can count on him to produce. And another way that you can count on Brandon Cooks is in the fact that he has experience succeeding as a wide receiver with Deshaun Watson. Now, this kind of is similar to the talk that we've had about receivers like Will Fuller. The reason why Will Fuller and Brandon Cooks get brought up now more than they ever would have in the past for the Cleveland Browns is because they have experience in the past playing with Deshaun Watson. And in the National Football League, one of those key things you need for your receivers and for your quarterbacks is for those two positions to click. There has to be some sort of level of chemistry and trust there, or it's just not, frankly, going to work. And Brandon Cooks, with Deshaun Watson, had a season where he put up over 1,000 receiving yards and had six receiving touchdowns. He was the Texans' best wide receiver. So you know that he has that chemistry. You know that he is a a good receiver when playing with Deshaun Watson, and the likelihood that those two will click is much higher than it would be with any other random receiver you bring in through free agency or trade. So that is a valuable asset, that experience of already playing with and succeeding with Deshaun Watson. So when you see the whole Brandon Cooks to Cleveland rumor or report or whatever you want to 
characterize it as, I think that it would be ideal. That would be a really good move for Andrew Barry to pull off. He would fill a gigantic need the Browns have. He's still in his prime, only 28 years old. And you know that he will produce with Deshaun Watson at quarterback. So that's the easy answer. The easy answer is yes. I would love to have Brandon Cooks as a member of this team. The harder, more complex answer is that it would be a really difficult move for Andrew Barry to swing and then commit to. Because if you get Brandon Cooks on this team, that's the key word. You are committing to him. You will have to commit to him for two reasons. First and foremost, the Houston Texans and their general manager, Nick Cesario, has said that they want a good return for Cooks. They still like Brandon Cooks. They still think that he can be a good receiver for their team, even though they have, you know, not necessarily the best uh, situation right now. They still think he's valuable to their team. So they want a good trade package. They want a trade package that will center around a second round pick and then more, likely more draft picks or some other assets in the form of players. So the Browns right now are in a position where that would be a little tough to sell to to Andrew Barry, who obviously is a general manager who values youth draft picks and making those draft picks. I mean, the fact that the Browns traded all that they did for Deshaun Watson, including three first round picks, was kind of shocking based on who their general manager is. And if the Browns were to trade for Brandon Cooks, they'd have to give up a lot of draft picks, including likely this year's second. And if the Browns' first selection in this draft didn't come until some point in the third round, not you didn't have a first round pick, don't have a second round pick, your first pick is in the third round, I don't know if Andrew Barry's going to like that. I don't know if he would be happy with that. And then the second more concerning and more, uh, I guess, just trade-killing part of the whole commitment to Brandon Cooks is that he is in the final year of his contract, and he's going to want to get paid. He's going to want to get a contract worthy of his talents. And, you know, I just listed all the reasons why he'd be valuable to the Browns, but the Browns would have to show him that he's valuable by paying him and giving him a contract extension And I'm not sure the Browns are in that point right now because you've already, of course, committed an enormous contract to Deshaun Watson with all that guaranteed money. And he's going to take up a lot of cap space in coming years. Obviously not this season, but in in coming years, that's going to affect your your ability to be flexible with your cap. You also have extended Miles Garrett. He's going to be getting a lot of money. And Nick Chubb obviously has an extension and and you know Denzel Ward is still sitting without an extension and there are a lot of players Amari Cooper is going to be making a lot of money and when you're in the situation that the Browns are in obviously you want to get as much talent as you can because you want to try to swing for the fences and hit that Super Bowl shot when you can but you also have to consider if you bring in Brandon Cooks you're going to have to pay him and that might hinder your ability to pay other premium positions like how are the Browns going to get and keep a good second defensive end to play uh, you know outside of Miles Garrett how are they going to extend Denzel Ward that I mean Denzel Ward is a key factor to that Browns defense who I don't think they want to just give up in order to bring in some wide receiver help so the more you sort of think about the commitment that the Browns would have to make to Brandon Cooks I think the less likely that trade starts to become so yes I obviously would like to bring Brandon Cooks onto this roster I think he'd be a very good pickup for the Browns but I don't think it's likely because I don't think the Browns are in a a position to commit to him in the way that he's going to want in terms of you know his contract so let me know in the comments do you think that Brandon Cooks despite his contract situation, and the picks you would have to give up to get him, do you think Brandon Cooks is a viable option for the Cleveland Browns? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.